Hello everyone and welcome back! We are going to finish off this page in Small Victories by Johanna Basford and I'm so excited to finish this off. It's been such a joy to do this page. I'm going to be continuing on with my Faber-Castell polychromos for this and I'll also be using my trusty Sakura Jelly Roll for the black outlines and a couple of little white highlights. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create this little circle that's going to be the background. I want to have green down the bottom where the leaves are and then go into a blue kind of background like a sky, sort of like a night sky. I do still think I want to get rid of those little stars. I might just cover them up a little bit with some white details later on. I'm thinking of having a darker edge and then go slightly lighter into like the middle background there. Maybe sort of, maybe like a moonlight. I don't think I want to draw a moon in there. I just want to give the illusion that there is a bit of moonlight coming in from the back. But just by having it a little bit lighter. So I'm just using my earth green now just to make that outline even though I'm going to do blue up the top it doesn't really matter it will blend in with the blue tones that I do anyway. So I'm just making this circle and then I'll start filling in the background. So I'm just going to go in and just fill in the top part here. I'm going to start with my sky blue and then I will go in later on with some darker ones. I'm thinking for my blue tones, I'm thinking sky blue, light ultramarine, indanthrine blue and probably some dark indigo. I may use some the cobalt blue greenish a little bit but probably not for the sky I'm thinking maybe for those little bluebell sort of things that are hanging down I want to bring in a few little colors in those 
and you guys if you followed me for a while you know that I love bringing in quite a few different colors in my leaves as well even though they may appear to be green I do add in a few different layers of some various colors in there so I'm hoping to do that today as well So now that I've got both my light colors in my green and my blues, I'm going to start darkening things up here, adding in some juniper green. I'll probably also go in with a chrome oxide green. It's one of my favorite dark greens, still very earthy, not super yellow. So it will work in really nicely here. I ended up choosing the juniper green and the earth green as my base layers just because they have a bit of blue. They are fairly blue based green tones so it will work in quite nicely I think with like that night sky and then I'll bring in like the yellow, more yellowy greens for the leaves.
So I'm going to start darkening up my blue now. I'm not going in super dark straight away, but you will notice that I'm going to leave a layer of just the sky blue sort of towards the middle of this little circle. So where those two center leaves are sitting in the middle there between those and the little um, bluebells hanging down, I'll try to keep that quite light too sort of look like there's a bit of a moonlight or something like that coming in from the back there. I do hope you've been enjoying this video. If you have, please, I'd love it if you'd take the time to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post new content.
So once I've got a nice layer down here of the indent 3 in blue, I will go back over it with my light ultramarine and start working my way in towards the middle again, just to give it a nice little gradient there that's not doesn't have any sort of harsh lines or any sort of overlaps that are very visible. So I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and yeah, just no harsh lines really. If you're following along and you're using your polychromos, this is the earth green yellowish that I'm using. I will not be using the main green, which is the one that looks similar to this one. So whenever you see the one that has got the text all rubbed out, it is the earth green yellowish. And I think the number is what, 163, if that is correct. I can't quite see it anymore. So <laughs> it's a well-used pencil. 
So I'm just going to use this and just cover majority of these leaves. I'm just leaving a little bit sort of towards the top there and I'll be using the green gold on those. So I did mention that I often add in some extra different colors and things in my leaves. Beige red is one of those colors that I tend to add in quite a lot. I like how it blends in with these green tones. It just gives it that little bit extra. And yeah, it just 
it just works in really well I think I might also add in a little bit of the terracotta on this just to bring in just a touch of that sort of terracotta colors that we've used in a few of the other little pictures here I'm not going to go too overboard with that color but it's just a little bit on the on the leaves I think
I do find that when I'm doing leaves, I keep going back and forth between my colors and blending them in together, layering them up and giving them nice smooth gradients. And especially with polychromos, because they are oil based and they are very translucent, you will find that they sort of shine through each layer. So it's a really lovely play on colors and they don't just mush together. It, you really make those layers, each one of those layers will sort of shine through and it get, gives a really nice effect, I think. So I'm going to add in some indent three in blue to these leaves. I think I'll most likely come back in with some dark indigo as well, just to really darken things up. Again, if you follow me for a while, I love using the dark blue tones for my shadows when I do, especially green. Very sort of, yeah, the leaves, anything that's green. I love using blue. There are so many other different colors you can obviously also use. You can go for the complementary color, like use red or something like that. Um, but yeah, I've got a bit of a love for using blues for my shadows. And I thought with this sort of dark nighttime picture, it would definitely work out really well.
So I just want to adjust my background a little bit. I'm going to go in with some more of the juniper green and just sort of in the background here, make it a little bit darker. I just feel like we've got these leaves lying on top. So I feel like they're blocking maybe a bit of light and just making that background a bit darker. And I keep doing that. I'll go back and forth and I'll adjust as I feel like it needs different things. I think that's sort of one of those reasons why I won't finish just one small area. I tend to like to work all around my picture for, and then build things up as I go rather than just yeah finish one small part and then work on go on to the next small part. I just feel like it's it makes more sense to me to do it that way you might find it different to you and that's completely okay we're all different in how we like to work on our art pieces and things like that so you do what works for you
So even though these little things, they kind of look like bluebells, I'm not quite sure whether they are bluebells. In Norway we do have some little bell looking flowers that are actually white. It's not the um, a lily of the valley, they are, they are a bit more rounded. But I think even if they're white or blue, I'm thinking we can bring in a few different colours in there anyway. So I'm just going to start out with a little bit of this beige red and then I'm going to bring in my blue tones afterwards. I might even put in a little bit of cream, I think, just for a bit of highlight. And I'll use my Sakura Jelly Roll definitely on these as well.
For these little tiny leaves, I'm going to go in with my earth green and then I'm thinking well, maybe a blue tone. And just to make them quite dark, I kind of feel like they're so small, maybe they don't get a whole lot of light going on them. So they'll probably be a bit darker than the bigger leaves in the foreground here. So I'm going to use the, the green and the blue together and I'll make them sort of darkish and I'll just have my sakura jelly roll maybe on one side of them just to give a little bit of a highlight and we'll see how we go with that
So now that we've removed these outlines, I'm going to go back in and adjust a little bit. Usually when you've removed outlines, you will see where you need to add a bit more color. You just want to make sure that your picture makes sense, that you have some shadows, a bit of, just to create a bit of shape, especially when you remove these outlines as well. It's, it's going to make it harder to see the shapes. So I'm adding in a little bit of darker shadows away from like the lighter areas here. I'm going to add in a little bit more cream as well just to have it stand out a bit from that background and I think that's working quite well. I might, I'll see if I need to add anything more, maybe some some other lines maybe. I'll, I'll see what we do. Forgot a bit of white there on these bottom ones. I think I also want to add in a little bit more sky blue to the background just to darken up slightly more. I think it feels like it's a bit too light in the background there. So I'll just add in a few of these little dots. I just want to see how... Yeah, I think I'm going to need a little bit more colour and then we're nearly done, I think. A couple of more minutes. Yeah, I think that background is looking much better now. I just want to go in and add a tiny little bit more of this dark indigo just at the bottom of a couple of these leaves here. And I think we're pretty much done. So just darkening up here and yeah, I reckon we are all finished. So here is our finished page. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I tried a couple of new color combinations with, especially with the moth. I had a bit of fun with that one. And um, yeah, I'm super happy with this page. I hope you've enjoyed following along. And if you have followed along, thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching today. 
I wish you all a very colorful day and I will see you again next time.